because I still don't have much of a voice. Um, it'll, I don't know how long it'll be gone, but I miss y'all, and I want you to know that I'm doing okay. Um, Mudgy Pudgy's still not home. I'm not gonna cry, because I'm trying to deal with the day by day. But, I know that she's alive, and I just pray that somebody picked her up and is keeping her safe until they start seeing my posters. I'm sorry. Um, I have put, it's out on Facebook on like four or five different sites, local. I have called the animal shelters, animal control. I live on the county line, right on the line. And so I called both of the counties. They both have her pictures, they have her description, and they have my information. I have flyers posted all throughout the neighborhood and beyond. Um, I have other people working on, you know, all kinds of things, trying to get her back. There have been many people beating the streets other than to go into, you know, I've knocked on some doors, but she's going to come home, and I know she is. Um, other than that, the pack, they miss her, and I know they do. I can tell by their actions. It used to be I would open the kitchen door and let them go out into the backyard and they would bark as soon as they hit the door. Um, but it's frozen and it'll help a little bit. Um, as soon as they hit the back door, they're bark, 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 bark. Jones actually heard them. We've been on the phone. And so, and to tell y'all a little bit about how it happened. Well, Sunday night, I opened the door to let him go out to the bathroom, like always. I was actually talking to Joan on the phone. And I came back inside and started getting their bowls ready to feed them. And I heard a commotion that's not normal. So I ran back outside. So this is within three minutes and I ran out and I saw the gate was open wide all the way I've got a big double gate not a double gate but it's I mean y'all can't see five foot gate six foot gate wide and it was all the way open and my shih tzus were out in the side yard and in the front yard of my house if you've seen my Christmas tour video or tour house, whatever, you can see what I'm talking about, where they were in the side front of the house, beside where I parked my Jeep. And <clears throat> I ran out sock footed and into the mud, squish, I don't care. And I was screaming while I said, Shih Tzu's come to mop me. And all of them came back the only one that I had to actually snatch was Buddha. And I don't know if y'all have ever heard a Shih Tzu scream, but if they get frightened, they scream. So it's like, sorry. Shih Tzu alert. Like, stop it. Oh, hold on. Um, so I called for them and they all came back and I reached down to grab Buddha and he screamed at me, so I know he was frightened. But I snatched him up and I took him and put him in the house. And I made sure the seven were secure. And I kept running back outside and just started screaming for her and hollering, you know, looking, running, chasing, you know, looking. I got in my truck and I rode up and down. I went down by the church and on down, there's a convenience store, and I stopped there, and 
ask them if they had seen her. I was so crazy looking that I left the car door open, man. I didn't even think about it. I just ran in. You know, I was in, in rare form. But needless to say, someone has seen my puppy. She's not a puppy. She's like eight or nine years old. I can get the paperwork out when they were born. But um, I just, I hope she's safe. I hope she's warm. I hope she's full. And I hope she soon comes home because we all miss her. I had a man call me today. And, you know, the area code and the phone said it was from Florida, a Florida call. And I, <clears throat> they actually left a voicemail. And this person pretended to be Chinese. And he proceeded to say some things that pertaining to, oh, I can't even say it. And it broke my heart. I called you know, Joni, and it's like, man, how can people be so cold-hearted? And I want y'all to know that I know who this man is. And I tried to call him back on his phone, his regular customer. And he wouldn't answer the call. So I sent him a text, and I gave him a piece of my mind. And then I blocked him. So, shame on him. Karma's a beast, and she'd go bite him right in the big fat butt. If anybody has dogs or any pet, they're a part of the family. And so, some people, dogs are like children. My dogs are like kids. I birthed the eight, the seven that were born. When Molly had her puppies, she that was had so many that she was working on one while others was coming out. So I had to help her. So, you know, these are my puppies. These are my babies, and I want her back. I want her to be happy and healthy, and that most of all. But the selfishness in me wants her home. So, and I know she's got to miss her pack. She's got to miss her babies, and... I mean, her brothers and sisters and her mama. But other than that, I will try to do a thrift haul on Sunday, depending on the weather. I don't know what it's going to be. I haven't been watching any news or anything because I've been focused on her. But anyway, I'll do what I can do. I owe it to you. Y'all are great. And I thank you so much for all your support and your love and your your genuineness it's that builds me up and it gives me hope and I know that there are so many wonderful wonderful people in this world and I know y'all are on my channel thank you so much for being here and the love I love y'all so much I hug for everybody until next time, keep praying for Mudgy Pudgy.